Five o'clock in the morning, my dad got a call from a gentleman up in uh, Winston who had a men's store and he said, we're devastated. The whole main street's gone, my store's gone, meaning his store was gone. And uh, he said, I think you'll find the water's coming your way. So uh, we called a number of the merchants to tell them that a flood was coming. And at that time, we uh, started, went up the street and saw some of the merchants said, well, can we help you clean up your basements to put it up? So we did. We went to some of the stores. We ended up at uh, Marvin Shoe, which was across the street here, and started. I never saw so many shoes and boxes down there, but we brought them all up. But we set them on the floor and some in chairs. And uh, never believing we were going to get water here because we never have had it. We've had uh, winter f um, floods like, but it's when it's the melt mm -hmm. and it would come up just over onto the railroad tracks. Kennytown Dam let go up in by, by Seymour, where Daddy was is, and come down, hit the American Brass Steel Bridge, hit the Maple Street Bridge, and when it did, it threw it over to the western part of the town. And that, of course, just put a big wave. And that came in here, and we weren't down there. I don't think we were down there 20 minutes when we were chest deep in water. And when we got up here, oh, it was perhaps 20 inches, 30 inches deep in here. When, when my brother and I come up the stairs, there wasn't such a thing as stairs. It was just like you're walking up through a waterfall. The water was coming in so fast. Because it was just a big, big wave like that came. Perhaps about noontime, we had a railroad car, the gondola car, the, the actually, uh, thing of, not the wheels and that, was up floating around the front of our store. We thought we were going to get clobbered with it. And then finally it just went back down into the uh, thing and landed up back down by the railroad station. We lost about $30,000 out of the basement because we didn't get it out because we never thought we'd ever see water here. And we tried, contacted the Red Cross. We also contacted, um, oh, up in um, Southbury where they had a home for the uh, some of the people that are a little bit indigent in there. So, uh, and they said they didn't want it because of uh, things that were in the water and that. So we took and piled it out there. And uh, Dick nee Lee, the mayor of New Haven, come out here with uh, crews, picked most of that stuff up. He was wonderful. 